guys, welcome back to my channel. Here to give you a quick little update on how Frank and Fiona are doing since the last time we pruned them. It's been about a month since we did the last pruning and they are just taking off. So they're already branching out. We have a bunch of new growth and the cuttings that we took from them, I'm gonna show you those as well. Some of them already have roots. Some of them are moving along further than others. And one of them, the leaf cutting that I took is doing the best. It already has several roots, but I know why. It's because that cutting is in the room that gets the most sun. I wanted to just bring you guys in, give you a close up and show you what they are doing hopefully this will encourage you guys to not be scared and to go ahead and prune your plants I'm showing you guys here that it is, it is proven success so don't be scared and prune those plants so you can get those tree forms so this is my first plant this is Fiona Fiona has some new growth coming in these leaves here are new and then you can tell this bud here she has a new one coming in that will be unraveling any day now you can see in here this is where she was pruned. I will be pruning this branch as well. I'm gonna let it continue to grow some more and then we will be cutting it back so that this one will branch out. It was split into two and caused two more branches. There's some really nice new growth here and there is also one bud about to unravel as well. And I'm just gonna turn her around here and you can see this is where the main cut was, cut at an angle, and I have these two branches coming out now. And I also have another branch here. So she is going to be tree form very soon. Then over here we have Frank. And in here you can see lots of new growth here as well. We cut it here, and we got two new branches. The branches already have lots of new growth. This was the original cut and it gave us those two branches. So it's forked out now. We also have this branch here as well. that I took from Frank and Fiona. I took a total of one, two, three, four, five. Five cuttings total. I'm not sure that they're all gonna do anything. This one here has been getting the least amount of sun. It's not doing anything. I'm not seeing any signs of any roots at all. So I don't know that I'm gonna have any luck with this cutting, but it's still green. It's still hanging in there, so we're gonna give it some more time. This one on the other hand is showing some roots. And then I have a leaf here. So I have this single leaf here and this leaf out of all the cuttings is doing the most. It has the most amount of roots and it even has a leaf trying to come out of here. So that was very interesting. I'm glad I did save this one leaf. And it does have this wooded area here and that is where all the roots are coming from. And then it has some new growth coming through from here. So I thought that was very interesting. So that is doing really well. This one has a couple of little tiny roots coming out from the bottom. Nothing too extravagant just yet. This leaf was in the same container and it is doing the best. So I'm gonna put that back in there. Then in this big old one, I have two cuttings in this one. So this cutting here is showing lots of white little dots and that is a clear indication that there is where roots are gonna be coming out of. So this one is doing good. This one was actually touching the vent and it got some damage, heat damage, but it is still doing well and I can see where the roots are getting ready to start coming out of this one. So this one is doing very well as well and it does have a couple of roots already coming out with, a, with some more of those little white spots which is an indication that those are where roots are gonna form. But it does already have a root sticking out here. I will continue to just change the water out on these and put them back in a sunny location. And again, I didn't use any rooting hormone. Rooting hormone definitely will speed up the process, but I don't mind waiting, so I, I skip that process and I just do the water propagation. Every couple of days, I would just change out of the water and put it right back into its location. So we are having success with one, two, three, four, four out of five. This is the only one that's not doing anything. It's not showing any signs of roots at all. 
and they have been in water for a total of a month. Frank and Fiona are doing very well. They are branching out and they have lots of new growth. So I haven't put them in the shower since that last cutting. I've just been hand watering at their location, but today I'm gonna go ahead and get them in the shower and get all their leaves sprayed off. Then I'm gonna go ahead and give them a little bit of that good dirt plant food just to give them another boost so that they can continue giving that lush new growth. So I hope that this demonstration encourages you guys and shows you that pruning is definitely, you can definitely have success with pruning don't be afraid to prune. The fiddle leaf is just gonna go straight up and down unless you prune it, notch it to encourage branching. So this is proof. Proof is in the pudding. I'm giving the demonstration for you guys. I'm the one that's experimenting on my plant so that I can show you guys here what works and what doesn't work. So I hope you guys were able to take something from this video. I hope you are encouraged to prune your plant now. With all the pruning for all the plants that I have had, I'm running out of space. So I have a lot of cuttings that I have propagated and have had success. This one right here, one second, I'm gonna grab this one from out of the front of the window. It has some new growth coming in and this was also a cutting from either Frank or Fiona. I can't even keep up with them anymore. But let me show you this one. So this is one of Frank and Fiona's babies. Not exactly sure which one it came off of because like I said, it's been too many to keep up with. But she has been rooted the same exact way. And look, she has new growth already coming in. So this is a new leaf. This is a new leaf. And then she has these two new leaves coming in as well. So lots of new growth. And she has roots coming out of the bottom already. So I did get these little white planters off of Amazon. They work great for propagation and they come with a little saucer as well. So that's always a plus. They have nice good drainage holes and they weren't very expensive. I will go ahead and link those down in the description box below if you guys are interested. But those are typically the pots that I use once I'm propagating these plants up, they will go into something small like this. Then once they become root bound, then I would just move them up to the next size. This cutting is successful and these will eventually be like this. So since I am running out of space with all of these propagations, I would like to maybe do a giveaway and give one of these away. I don't have any experience with shipping plants. Please leave me down in a comment below if you have experience with shipping plants and how to go about it because I definitely would like to give one of these away to one of my supporters just to have a little piece of me in your home. One of Frank and Fiona's babies. I definitely would love to do that. If somebody has more information about shipping plants, please let me know down in the comments below. I'm just gonna continue to change the water out on these, you guys, put them back in their location, and we're gonna move on to getting Frank and Fiona showered up and then continue to just watch them flourish. to check in and give you a quick update on how Frank and Fiona were doing. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Meet me down in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one.